Hey guys, what's up? So I was gonna play the freshman, but then I saw this new book and I wanted to do that. Um, I'm still obviously gonna do the freshman. I have a lot of like, honestly, I have a lot of videos to edit. So this weekend I'll probably have a lot of uploads, which is good for you guys. Let's try to start the new year off right. We have all these series we need to get to. Chapter one, new city, new job, new friends. Can you navigate the hilarious ups and downs of dating in the modern world? See, it's about dating in the modern world. Like how could I not play this right away? I need to. You know there's gonna be dating drama and that's the best kind of drama. All right, what about chapter one? This story will change your life. All right, guys, take note. Our lives may be changed after this. <laughs> Who will you play as first, a girl or a guy? Ooh. Oh my God, I didn't expect this. Um. Fuck, I don't know. I'm just gonna be a girl. All right, choose our look. I am girl. Wait, oh shit, wait, what? <laughs> Did I actually just choose the look right away? I wanted to like see what the options were. Well, whatever. She looked fine. All right, oh, we get to shoot. See, okay, yeah, I was doing that. I like this hair. Love it. Last but certainly not least, pick your first outfit. Oh, I thought we were just gonna, you know, stay in the lingerie. Let's see. Well, that looks very professional. I like how our neck looks in this. I don't know, there's some very strong neck. But I like this too. And it seems really warm and I'm kind of cold right now. Man, no, we're going this, professional. All done, what do you think? This look is, oh wait, but we're trying to get dates. Do we not, we're not trying to get a fucking job. Oh well, whatever. Let's go. Do your name, Danny. Oh my God, it worked. <laughs> oh my God, it worked. <laughs> That's usually a banned word and like everything. <laughs> yes, our name is Vulva. Oh no, why is that? I'm so sorry. I apologize. I honestly didn't think it would work. I really didn't. You make your way to the counter at a San Francisco cafe before the first day of work at your new job. Oh, I'm gonna be in San Francisco. At the end of this month, you guys, Google invited me to their headquarters. I'm excited. It's for mobile gaming, too. So, like, I could be like, yo, look. I <laughs> Look I <laughs> look at how I put Vulva in the game, Google. Aren't I clever? Aren't I clever, little YouTuber? The barista <laughs> hands you. I'm sorry. There's something wrong with me today. The barista hands you. And it's not drugs, assholes. The barista hands you a latte, complete with a recycled paper sleeve and your gnome, <laughs> your name written on the side. Thank you. That's not how you... <laughs> That's not how you spell vulva. It's vulva thack. guy in a plaid shirt that's gonna be our last name if they ask for it a guy in a plaid shirt over over by the milk and sweeteners flashes you a smile oh that's like I was like damn this kind of looks like my boyfriend you know I talk all right I do talk some shit about gingers but you guys are some of my favorite people and like my boyfriend has a ginger beard not all of his hair so this is a little off but that like it looks like him it's just weird it's not, they never spell my name right either. I'm Evan or Effin, according to my coffee cup. Oh my God, Effin and Vulva. So sweet, I'm Vulva. So Vulva, do you take sugar in your coffee? Because I'm pretty sure you're sweet enough as it is. Ugh. You're about to encounter your first choice. It's up to you how to respond. You think I'm sweet, huh? I'd like to pour some sugar on you. You're gonna need a better line than that. Wanna try again? You were cuter before you started talking. Ooh, that one. A little feisty. Ouch. But you do think I'm cute, right? I'd sit on your face, I mean. Maybe, but you definitely need to work on your flirting skills. And I suppose you're an expert on flirting? Well, actually, I am a gold medal 
champion when it comes to dating simulators. So, um, yes, actually, I am an expert. Yeah, it's kind of my job. So, yeah, yeah. Well, like, what the fuck are you even mean? It's my first day at Click It. You know, viral posts, life hacks, listicles. I've heard of it. 20 things only 90s kids will understand. That kind of stuff. Oh, my God. Are we a clickbait expert? Oh, my God. Bulba. Clickbait expert. Of course. Exactly. I'm the newest writer for the love and dating section. Love and dating, huh? In that case, how am I doing? I already told you your flirting sucks. Honestly, I'm still talking to you, aren't I? Your game is weak, son. I can barely keep my clothes on. Well, I'm still talking. That's usually the first indication that you're doing all right. You were confident, but not creepy. Your body language was open, but not aggressive. With just the right amount of eye contact before approaching. Wow, anything else? But then you did lay down that really shitty, way overused one-liner. Actually, you've had something in your teeth this whole time. Evan immediately covers his mouth. Kidding! You've done well enough that if you gave me your number, I wouldn't immediately delete it. I might even let you show me around the city sometime. I might even open a dick pic. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, great. You exchange numbers with Evan, who smiles the whole time. Hashtag kill in the game. You got Evan's number. Wow, you really are good at this. How is someone like you still single? I'm single because my <laughs> name is Mama. <laughs> Uh, I hadn't met you yet. I have high standards. I'm waiting for true love. I hadn't met you yet. You know, we gotta we can be corny too when we're flirting. You gave you give a sly wink. Laying it on a little thick, huh? Only because I can tell it's working. No arguments here. Any chance you've walked you're walking my way? I'm headed to the Z Zamble offices. Cushy tech job, huh? I actually headed the other heading the other way. Can't be late for my first day on the job. Oh my god. I really I really like this so far. You walk into the Click It office for the first time. Whoa, what is this place? You must be Volva. I'm Martin, editor in chief here at Click It. This way, we're about to start our daily stand up. Daily what? I don't know how they do things on the East Coast, but out here we host a meeting each morning so all the writers can sync up. Martin leads you to a brightly decorated lounge area where several men are already sitting on beanbag chairs. Not the sort of vibe you're used to, huh? This place looks like something out of Sesame Street Architectural Digest. Open spaces, modern decor, everything is so hip and chic. You try to settle onto a beanbag, but immediately sink deeper into the plush. Although maybe there's such a thing as too comfortable. I don't know how I feel about bean bags, honestly. You know, some bean bags just don't have enough beans to their bags. You know, you guys know what I mean totally. I know you do. A chick on the staff for one minute and already she's sucking up. Typical woman. Excuse me! <laughs> what is this? Hey, TJ, can you turn down the douche? She just got here. Wow, look at this white knight, too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't take advice from junior writers, Felix. All right, yeah, right. Uh, uh, of course, that happened right in front of the boss. Behave now, boys. Everyone meet our newest clicker, Volva. She's the head of the new Love Hacks page. She'll be our resident expert in all things fashion and romance. So the girlies- Fuck you, TJ! Will you please just fuck off right off the fucking roof? Volva knows what she's doing. Her personal blog post, The Worst Date Ever, went legit viral. Two million likes, 500,000 shares, and more retweets than Kendall Jenner's latest selfie. And I'm sure she has plenty more ideas up her sleeve. Thank you, Martin. You're very nice. Do you see me? Did the, does TJ even fucking see me? I'm professional as fuck. Do you see this outfit? Oh, right. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up, Martin, because I've done a lot of brainstorming lately. How's this for a headline? Table for one, how to be happy and single. No. How to ask guys out in three easy steps. No. Not just sex. How to bring love back into the bedroom. No. How about how to ask guys into the bedroom in three easy steps? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, because that's what we're selling. The bad part of relationships. 
the bad part. Get in touch with your emotions and be a total loser. Please. Any reader who tries to pull that stuff on a guy will get dumped in a heartbeat. That's not true. But if you insist on catering to the touchy-feely audience, you gotta at least make it snappy. Something like five ways to replace your BF with a body pillow. That sort of thing. That's, that's actually not bad. No, that was terrible. You know, I'd be happy to help you with some field research if you want. Teach you a thing or two about love. Ugh. Field research. That's a great idea. It is? Volva, can you go on dates and write the 10 guys you date in your 20s? What do you think? Isn't this like a movie? <laughs> Alright, I think it's got great viral potential. I lo as long as I don't have to date a TJ, I'm in. I'm going to need a company car to do this, right? Yes! Yes! What? You can't even get a guy to pay for you? Fuck off! It's 21st century, TJ. Women can pay for things too. And by women, I mean using the company card and not actually me. So, <laughs> you know. Volva's right. I'll talk to the finance department and see what I can do. One month should be more than enough time for the article. I expect to see your progress in notes each week. Yes, sir. Hashtag work it. You just got your first assignment. Soon after, you settle into your new workspace, a desk cluttered together with others in the big, open space of the Clicket office. Suddenly, a kind face leans into view from the workspace next to you. Hey, I'm Felix. Looks like... <laughs> I'm sorry, Felix. Looks like we're desk neighbors. Sorry about TJ back there. He can be a jerk sometimes, and by that I mean all the time. I know the type. How and why do people put up with him? Despite being a human poop emoji, he's actually one of the most clicked writers on our site, and he's Martin's favorite. That's not fair. Someone needs to call Martin out. But I'm not worried. I'll be a, the top writer in no time. I mean, on one hand, calling people out drama. Uh, on the other hand, hell no. We're going to take the high road. We're professional. Do you see this outfit? <laughs> I'm coming for that top spot, and there's no way a jerk like that is stopping me. It'll feel so much better if we do it, like, professionally, too, and then he's, like, lower than us, and he gets all butthurt. Hey, more power to you, girlfriend. I immediately regret calling you girlfriend. Let's pretend I didn't. Stricken from the record. No worries, Felix. You're good. Just then a woman strides over, glaring at Fe Felix. Felix, did you eat all our horseradish for your stupid video? Isabel, yes, I did. And I also got horseradish challenge fail trending. And the doctor says my sinuses will heal in no time. Isabel sighs and turns to you. It's Volva, right? I'm Isabel. Don't let Felix rope you into any of his videos, especially anything that involves wasabi. Duly noted. Isabel turns and walks away, and you notice Felix watching as she leaves. I see what's going on here. You totally hate Isabel. You totally love Elizabeth. <laughs> what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. This is my area of expertise. Did you think I wouldn't be able to tell? All right, fine. Yes, but it's not my dating life we should be discussing. What are you going to do for your first date? Good question. I kind of got caught off guard. There's no one in town you could call up. Word is you're originally from the Bay, right? Well, there is one guy. A good friend from college. Mark. Oh, and there was a guy at, um... I don't even, I don't even remember his name. Oh, Evan. Evan? Was Evan his name, I think? Now playing as Mark Collins. You're walking down a bustling San Francisco street on your way to the Mooney bus station. Ooh. There is not enough caffeine in the world for me right now. You finish your energy drink before tossing the empty can into a bin. Your roommate, Cole, looks up from his phone. You were all right. You've been acting weird all morning. I I didn't sleep well last night. I've got a lot on my mind. Wait, is this because your college friend is back in town? The one who got away? She's not the one who got away. Right. You only talk about her all the time. And not in the have you seen the latest episode of The Walking Dead way. In the dear diary, I love her so much kind of way. I should admit I had a crush on her, pretend not to care. Uh, I can't help it if we were close, we had some good times together. 
How good were the good times? Like, suck on the door- Oh, suck on the doorknob? God, <laughs> yeah, that's a great fucking time if you're sucking on the doorknob. Suck on the doorknob, good. <laughs> on the doorknob, on the shower handle, on the picnic table in the campus rose garden? Wait, are you joking? Yes, I'm joking. Come on, Cole. I don't know, maybe you were more adventurous before we met. Fine, you want to know the real truth? The 100% real truth? He leaned towards Cole and he leans forward to meet you. The truth is, I don't always know how I feel. Go to hell, Cole. You're always so sure of yourself. Sometimes it takes me years to even figure out if I like a girl. All I know is that she means a lot to me and her coming back is big. Should we hug? I feel like we should hug. Let's hug. No, stop. Get away from me. I'm just kidding. Please hug me. Please hold me, Cole. I want you. Anyway, you should call her up. Invite her to the double tap for drinks. Meet the gang. I don't know. I have that work thing tonight. Whatever you say, man. She's probably wondering about you as we speak. You are now Volva. <laughs> now playing as Volva. So, you gonna call this Mark guy or what? Oh, it's uh, I just been so uh, it's it's been so long and I don't know. It's complicated. Say no more. In that case, can't you just go to a bar or something and get a guy's number? You're an expert, right? Oh, actually, I picked up a phone number at the coffee shop before work. Okay, now you're making this look too easy. Da -da -da. Later, you and Felix go to a small boutique just off Market Street. Thanks for coming with me to pick out an outfit for my day tonight. I didn't think you'd want to go shopping. Hey, I'm helping you with research. Anytime I can get out of the office and still get paid, I'm down. So where's Evan taking you tonight? Some new club. Mystique, I think it was. That club is impossible to get into. Rumor has it the VIP lounge has an ice loot for vodka shots and its own taco bar. And last year, DJ Khaled played. You listen to DJ Khaled? No, I'm more of a Lumineers guy, but I recognize how big DJ Khaled is. Mystique is very exclusive, but you never know who you run into there. In that case, I better look my best. Just then, a little black dress catches your eye. You run your fingers over the bright sequins. Wow, if you wear that dress, Evan will fall over himself trying to impress you. Some choices cost diamonds. All right, all right, all right. I've made, I've made, I, I will no longer, I'm not spending diamonds on outfits anymore. I feel like you could spend the diamonds on drama and sex usually. Those are usually the options that appear that require diamonds. And I don't want to waste them on outfits when, you know, we can get drama or sex, which is way better than an outfit. We don't need the outfit. All right, well, it's that or this. Work, turtleneck dress, mustard dress. Great. Wonderful. Fuck. Actually, I think I'll go with this dress instead. The other one is very sparkly. Are you sure? I mean, I know I'm not very stylish, but... Felix, it doesn't cost diamonds, okay? You don't like this one? Not that... That's not what I meant. I'll, I'll just defer to your judgment. <laughs> All right. No. I'm ready for my first big date. San Francisco. That night, you're waiting for Evan outside Mystique. Volvo, over here. Hey, Evan. You make your way over to your date, weaving through the crowd of typical Silicon Valley tech workers. Whoa, it's like a sea of plaid button-up shirts out here. Yeah, a lot of the guys came directly from work. You know them? Oh yeah, Zambo rented the whole place out for the night. Really? You brought me to a work party? For our first date? I just uh, couldn't wait to see you again and I had to come here tonight so I thought, you know, two birds. Plus, Zambo parties are always epic. Trust me, when we get inside, you won't believe it's work party. I just say it's work party. Fine, but just FYI, next time you really, you should really tell a girl beforehand. No one likes to be blindsided. You got it. Great impression. Way to go. <laughs> In the club, Evan pulls you close so you can hear him over the pulsing music. But on the other hand, it's probably a free bar, so we don't have to pay for our fucking drinks. Hey, even if the date suck, we can still have a great time getting free drinks. Okay. You follow Evan through the dance floor to the back. Suddenly you hear a f familiar voice calling your name. Wait, who is that? Is that? The crowd parts and a handsome guy you haven't seen in years steps into the light. Oh no! Volvo? Mark? 
Dun dun dun. You earned one diamond for completing this chapter. Oh shit. Do we do another? Oh my god, I don't have time to do another one today, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. I will continue. The I'll do the next two episodes. Oh, my iPad's gonna die soon anyways. Um, I'll do the next two episodes in the same video so we can get to that. And like I said, yeah, I have the freshman. I have the next part of Demi. I finally re-recorded that. Um, Sim stuff. Man, I got a lot of shit, so we'll get to that. Expect a lot of videos this weekend. Other than that, I hope you have a great start to your weekend and happy Friday, you cute, cute, cuddly kittens. Just kidding. That's weird.